Did you guys hear snoring? <laughs> Hello friends. Hi, welcome to Night Owl Story Time with Miss Megan. Listen, before I start, I'm just going to um, apologize in advance if the video goes blurry because our internet connection is not the best depending on the day, the hour. So sometimes I've noticed the video goes blurry, but then it clears up again. So if the video recording gets blurry, just lean back a little and squint your eyes and it might look clearer. And uh, <laughs> there's a naughty dog in the yard getting yelled at. So anyway, let's start. <laughs> let's do story time and maybe we'll have a, a visitor. I don't think so though. All right, friends, here we go. We're gonna do our owl rhyme because it's night owl story time, right? And kick off your flip flops or your slippers, bare toes today. Okay, here we go. Wide-eyed owl. Do you remember how it goes? Like this, ready? There's a wide-eyed owl. Show me your big owl eyes. This is the American Sign Language sign for owl, by the way, is to show your eyes. Here we go. There's a wide-eyed owl with the pointy beak. Got your pointy beak? She has two ears and claws for feet. She sits in a tree and she looks at you. She flaps her wings and she calls out, kangaroo! No, no, that's not what an owl says. Okay, you know it takes me a few times. Let's do it again, ready? There's a wide-eyed owl with the pointy beak. She has two ears and claws for feet. And she rides a motorcycle through the neighborhood. No, no, no. She sits in the tree and she looks at you. She flaps her wings and she calls out, moo. No, no, what sound does an owl make? <laughs> that's right, that's right, okay. Last time, I got it now, here we go. There's a wide-eyed owl with the pointy beak, she has two ears and claws for feet. She sits in the tree and she looks at you. She flaps her wings and she calls out, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. How'd I do? Good? Did you guys hoo hoo? Did you hoot from the very beginning? I bet you did. You're so smart. Okay, guys, let's see. I think we should do. Ram Sam Sam, we usually do that on a Sunday. And you know, he sleeps through everything, but he might wake up later. Okay, so here we go, Ram Sam Sam. Do you remember how it goes? Oh, I'm gonna get cozy for this one. All right, so Ram Sam Sam, and we have two fists, and we pound them for Ram Sam Sam. And then we roll our arms for gooly gooly gooly, and then we Bring our arms up with hands wide open for a raw feek, a raw feek. Ready? Here we go. A ram, Sam, Sam, a ram, Sam, Sam, a gooly, 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 ram, Sam, Sam, a raw feek, a raw feek, a gooly, 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 ram, Sam, Sam. Did you do it with me? Do you remember? Have you watched a Sunday Night Owl story time? Okay, so we do it the regular way. And then we do it, what? I think we should do it louder, louder, and with big motions, right? So here we go. <clears throat> a ram, Sam, Sam, a ram, Sam, Sam, a gooly, 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 ram, Sam, Sam, a rafik, a rafik, a gooly, 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 ram, Sam, Sam. Good job, good job, good job. Okay. Last time, we'll do one more. Quiet, in little motions, tuck your elbows in. This is my favorite, because it's the silliest. Okay, ready? I'm gonna be quieter and use smaller motions. Here we go. Can you do it with me? Here we go. Whisper voices, maybe? All right, let's try that. A ram, Sam, Sam, a ram, Sam, Sam, a gooly, 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 ram, Sam, Sam, a raw fink, a raw fink, 
Oh, gooly, 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 ram, sam, sam. <laughs> good job, good job. Okay, let's see. I think next, this is going to be a clue for what our stories might be tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the sign, the American Sign Language signs for dinosaurs. There are two ways you can show a dinosaur using your hands and not your voice. And one way is to put one arm out like the ground. And the other way is, oh, I'm sorry, this is the first way, but to put one arm out is the ground and then you need a dinosaur. So you take your other hand and you make an O, but you kind of squish it down a little. So it's got a pointy mouth. And then you bounce your dinosaur along the ground. And that's one of the signs for dinosaur. And the other sign for dinosaur could be you show the letter D with your hands. Okay, there's the letter D. So all your fingers curled, but your pointer finger sticks straight up and you hold it like this and you can also move it and that's dinosaur. I'm going to use this for our next rhyme and I need two. Can you make two dinosaurs this way for me? Did you do it? Okay, we're gonna do two little dinosaurs just like we do two little blackbirds. Are you ready? Here we go. Two little dinosaurs sitting on a hill, one named Jack and one named Jill. Stomp away, Jack. Boom, 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 boom. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Boom, 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 boom. Come back, Jill. We've got a stomping dinosaur and a flying dinosaur, right? Pterosaurs could fly. Other dinosaurs might walk on their big, sturdy feet. Can we do it one more time? Let's do it again. Ready? Got your two dinosaurs? Here we go. Two little dinosaurs sitting on a hill. One named Jack and one named Jill. Stomp away, Jack. Boom, 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 boom. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Boom, 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 boom. Come back, Jill. She must have flown far away. What do you think, Jack? Let's call her a little louder. Come back, Jill. There they are. Yay, two little dinosaurs. Okay, all right, that was a clue, but I think before we start our book, we should do because I love this one. Oh, do you remember which one is this? Is it the clapping one? And let's hope Megan remembers to clap this time, every time, ready? Let's practice our claps. Just two, one, two. All right, here we go. Behind the tree and under the house lived a teeny tiny mouse. What did you like to do? She loved to sing. She loved to tap, but most of all, she loved to clap. She clapped at night, she clapped all day, she clapped to frighten the cats away. Meow, 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 meow. She clapped to frighten the dinosaurs away. Roar, 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 roar. That's my dinosaur growl. <clears throat> okay, are you ready? I wonder if I can find a story with cats and dinosaurs. Oh yes, I can. <gasps> All right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> We're gonna look in this one. We're gonna look in this big Peep the Cat book. This is a big book. Five minute Peep the Cat stories. Maybe someone at home wants to time me and see if this story is really just five minutes. Here we go. Stories by James Dean. All right. And this paper is my big bookmark because there's so many. I think there's 12 Peep the Cat stories in this book. All right. We're going to read. I don't know if I need this paper here. Sure. We're going to read Pete the Cat, Cave Cat Pete. Now, did people or cats live way, 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 way back? when dinosaurs were alive? No, but it's fun to pretend. 
and call them cave people or cave cats. So here we go. Pete the cat, cave cat Pete. All right. Cave cat Pete wakes up early. The sun is shining. The birds are singing. Today is going to be a great day, Pete thinks. But Pete's bed starts to shake. His friend Vinny, the velociraptor, is coming to visit. It's a perfect day for a picnic, says Vinny, so excited that he jumps on Pete's bed. What a great idea, says Pete. Who should we invite? Look at Vinny the Velociraptor. Hmm, everyone, Vinny yells. Vinny does not know how to use his inside voice. Right on, says Pete. Pete loves picnics. He jumps out of his bed to invite all his friends. It's cave cat times, so Pete has to walk everywhere. First, Pete finds his good friend, Ethel the Apatosaurus. To get her attention, Pete climbs all the way up to the top of the tallest tree. Because Ethel is so big, what a long neck. Would you like to come to a picnic? Pete asks. I'd love to, says Ethel. What can I bring? How about a really big salad? Pete suggests. What a great idea, says Ethel. I love salad. I'm on it. All right. Pete wanders along the river. He sees T-Rex. T-Rex plays guitar. T-Rex is awesome. Hey, T-Rex, Pete yells. Want to come to a picnic? Sweet, says T-Rex. Can I bring my guitar? Definitely, says Pete. We can jam. Count me in, says T-Rex. Is it okay if I bring Al, the Allosaurus? She's a whiz on the drums. The more the merrier, says Pete. See you later. Rock on, they say. Pete sees his friend Terry, the Pterosaur, in the sky. Hi, Pete, she calls. Pete invites Terry to the picnic, too. Would you mind giving me a lift? Pete asks. Sure, says Terry. Climb aboard. Oh, Pete sees the spiked tail of his main man, Skip the Stegosaurus. How are you feeling today, Skip? Pete asks. Skip has been sick with the <laughs> sniffles. <laughs> Better, says Skip. Thanks for asking. You up for a picnic? I think so, says Skip. I'd hate to miss the fun. Oh. There's Terry and Skip and Pete. It's almost time for the picnic. Cave Cat Pete rushes through the forest. He doesn't want to be late. What will all the dinosaurs talk about if I'm not there? He thinks as he runs, whoops. Pete trips over Trini the Triceratops. Are you okay? asks Pete. Am I okay? asks Trini. I'm fine. I'm a dinosaur. Are you okay? I'm okay, but I'm running a little. We're playing hide and seek, Trini says before Pete can finish. I think I hide, oh, I think I hid a little too well. How long have you been hiding? asks Pete. What day is today? asks Trini. She's been hiding for days. Oh, Pete thinks Trini has been playing hide and seek a little too long. It's the day of our picnic, says Pete. All the dinosaurs are going to be there. Want to come? Do I ever? Maybe somebody there will play hide and seek with me, she says. There's Trini, the Triceratops, because she has how many horns? Three, right? One, two, three. And if you have a tricycle, that's a bicycle with how many wheels? Three. Trini and Pete head to the picnic together. Pete rides on Trini's forehead and holds her horns. 
When they arrive at the picnic ground, everyone is there. Vinny and Ethel are setting up the picnic tables. T-Rex and Al are warming up to play some tunes. Terry and Trini are playing hide and seek. Even Skip seems to be enjoying himself. It doesn't get any better than this, says Pete. We're going to have a good time. T-Rex comes over then. Hey, Pete, he asks, is there anything else to eat? I'm a carnivore. I don't eat salad. Trini comes over. I can't play hide and seek with Terry, Trini says. She's flying around, peeking. Oh, no. Skip comes over. I don't feel so good, he says, and he achoo, sneezes. The dinosaurs all start to argue. It is very loud. The picnic will be ruined if Pete doesn't do something. He leans over to Al and says, Can you give me a beat? Pete takes out his guitar and he starts to sing. I think he might sing the dino ditty. A hungry dino walking down the street singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. Mm -hmm -hmm. Before long, everyone is having a great time. You know, T-Rex tells Ethel, I've never actually tried salad before. Try it, says Ethel. I bet you'll like it. T-Rex tastes the salad. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, yum, says T-Rex. This is delicious. Everyone grabs a plate and digs in. Um, 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 um. Crunch, 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 crunch. Salad, salad. After lunch is over, everyone wants to keep the picnic going a little bit longer. They decide to play hide and seek. Pete is happy that everyone is getting along. He feels lucky to have such great friends. Now he just has to find them. Hmm. You see any of his friends? Playing hide and seek. Uh, uh. <laughs> I bet you guys can see some friends. After the game is over, they all cheer. Yay! Pete found all of the dinosaurs, even Trini. That was the best picnic ever, everyone says. It was the best picnic because you guys are the best friends ever, Pete says. And no one can argue with that. Oh. All right. So that was one story from this big book. That was Cave Cat Pete. Did you guys like it? I did. I love Pete the Cat. Was that five minutes? I don't know. What if it was six minutes? <gasps> I think it's okay. What if it was only four minutes? Oh, man. I think it's okay, too. All right. I'm leaning away from the camera just to check something. I'm back. <laughs> Making sure I have enough power plugged into my camera here. Okay, guys. Wow. Hmm. We did two little dino. Oh, I think we should do the Dino Diddy song that I think Pete might have sung with the band in that book. Okay. So for Dino Diddy... We can, oh, you know what we can do? We can make this kind of dinosaur, the ground and this dinosaur. All right, and we'll do it a couple times. So you learn the words, because they're a little tricky to say. So the song starts like this. A hungry dino walking down the street, singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. Can you say that? Dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. Oh, I'll start from the beginning and here we go. A hungry dino walking down the street singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. And then we'll do this. He's looking around for something good to eat. Ready? He's looking around for something good to eat singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong. Then what do we say? We say, won't be hungry very long, singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. 
Dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. Let's do it together again. Ready? Here we go. A hungry dino walking down the street, singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. He's looking around for something to eat, singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. He's big, he's big, he's strong, he's strong. Won't be hungry very long because he's gonna find something to eat. Oh, singing dino ditty ditty dum ditty do, dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. Dino ditty ditty dum ditty do. So that was Sunday's silly song. Don't we always sing a silly song on Sunday? I think we do. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. I'm looking over here because I have so many ideas of what to do. I think next we won't read a book just yet. Hmm. Or should we read our book? Oh my gosh. Decisions. Decisions. Well, I'm going to try to pull this table over and we're going to look for some dinosaurs. Oh, well, one dinosaur. I think just one. Let's see if I could pull this over. Oh my gosh. And I hope you can see these doors that I have. I have different colored doors. Can you see them? Let's see. There's an orange door and there's a blue door and what color is this a red door a purple door and a yellow door okay so we've got some doors and we're looking for a certain kind of animal they're all extinct, and their name kind of rhymes with the word door. Di Dinoflor, no. Dinotor, dino dinosaur. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look in these doors, and the rhyme, I'd love for you to say it with me at home, and it's okay if these kind of bump into each other. I just want them all to fit, okay. So the rhyme goes like this. Dinosaur, dinosaur, behind the orange door. Before we open it, let's hear your roar, okay? And then we'll listen to the noise and we'll guess if it's a dinosaur or not. Ready? Here we go. We'll start here. Dinosaur, dinosaur, behind the orange door. Before we open it, let's hear your roar. <coughs> Was that a was that a roar? Let's hear it again. Oh, <laughs> all right, guys. Let me know. Is it a dinosaur? <laughs> I didn't think so. A pig. Okay, so we've got a pig. All right, let's keep going. Dinosaur, dinosaur, behind the blue door. Before we open it, let's hear your roar. Ready? Let's see. Ribbit, ribbit, oh. ribbit, ribbit, oh. Does that sound like a dinosaur to you? Ribbit, ribbit, uh, it's a dinosaur? No? Oh, you're right, a frog, a frog, okay. All right, let's keep going. Hmm, hmm, okay. Dinosaur, dinosaur, behind the red door. Before we open it, let's hear your roar. Ready? Do you have any ideas? What is it? Is it a bird? It is? It's a what? Oh, that's pigeon usually. It is a pigeon. A pigeon? This one, not a dinosaur. Okay. All right, ooh, who likes this color? Let's look in this one, here we go. Dinosaur, dinosaur, behind the purple door? Hmm, before we open it, let's hear you roar, ready? <gasps> oh, that was a, a growl, that was a kind of roar. Should we hear it again? Oh, 
What do you guys think? Do you think it's a dinosaur? I think it sounds like a dinosaur. I don't really know. Do you think that's what they sound like? Let's see. Knock, knock. Is it a dinosaur? It's not a dinosaur. It's a, it's a tiger. What can I peek? Oh, don't put my finger. Okay. Uh, oh, it is. It's a tiger peeking. Okay. Well, friends, we have one color door left. Should we give it a try? You know, dinosaurs aren't living any longer, so maybe there's not even a dinosaur here. Oh, let's look in the last door. Here we go. Dinosaur, dinosaur, behind the yellow door. Before we open it, let's hear you roar. Oh, you guys make a roar that a dinosaur would sound like. What do you think? Oh, okay, let's see, let's open it. Oh. Is it a dinosaur? Does a dinosaur sound? It, it is. Do dinosaurs sound like that? I don't know. <laughs> but I guess that's what this dinosaur sounds like. Oh, okay, friends. So we looked in all the doors. Yellow, purple, red, blue, orange, and we found the dinosaur. Yay, us. Okay. I think we need to read another book. Okay. And you know, we just read two books on Sundays. Hmm. Because I don't want to keep you up too late. Oh, or this guy too. Okay, here we go. Here's our book. Okay, let me move this over so I don't bump it. Oh my goodness. All right. We're going to read. The shy dinosaur. <gasps> Do you guys ever feel shy? Maybe when you meet new people? Maybe you're a little nervous to say hello or tell them your name. Let's see how shy this dinosaur is. Crunch the Shy Dinosaur by Sirocco Dunlop and pictures by Greg Pizzoli. Does that name sound familiar? I think we just read a book on Wednesday by Greg Pizzoli. Let's look at these end papers. See any dinosaur hiding? Me either. Okay, here we go. Crunch. What a great name. Rem reminds me of the salad, right, that the other dinosaurs were eating? Excuse me. Blah, blah, blah. Crunch the shy dinosaur. Here we go. This is Crunch. Where? I don't see anybody. Do you see anyone? You do? You see? Oh, oh, <laughs> right. This is Crunch. So shy. Crunch is shy. So you'll have to be the first to say hello. Go on. Say hello. Come on, friends. Let's say hello together. Hello! Oh my, you've said it too loudly. Crunch seems to have run off. Do you see him anywhere? Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, I see a big mountain. Or a, no, that's not a mountain. Or a rock? No, over here behind this rock? Oh, oh. You're right, you're right. He likes the happy birthday song. Do you know that song? I know that too. We know that song. If you sing it, maybe he'll come out. <gasps> what? Well, let's sing it. Don't you want to meet Crunch? I do. Okay, we'll sing happy birthday to Crunch. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Crunch. Happy birthday to you. Did you sing with me? Okay, let's see. <gasps> it worked! He's out! Oh, there he is. Oh, he looks so friendly. He loves birthdays because someone has one every day. Well, that's true. He loves days in general. He's very positive. Oh. Oh. Try to say 
Hello again. You can try it quietly so you don't scare him. Oh, okay. Let's say hello. Hi, hello, Crunch. I hope we didn't scare him. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was too quiet. He's gotten uncomfortably close. Oh. Oh, to you. Oh, yes. Try it one more time in a nice medium sounding voice. Bold yet gentle. Okay. Hello. 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 Not too loud. Not too quiet. Hello. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, he looks so happy. You can tell he liked that because he's an appropriate distance from you and also because he put on his most fun hat and is dancing. Oh, right? He's not too far. He's not too close. Oh, he's right in the middle. He enjoyed that. Now you can tell him your name. Say it clearly so he can paint it on that big rock. He loves painting names. What? Go on, tell him your name. I'm going to tell him my name. We could say it all at the same time. Ready? Megan. All right. Did you tell him your name? Oh, I think I heard it. Haven, Anthony, Axel, Harper. What? All right, let's see. <gasps> There's your name. Perfectly painted. You can't see it because it's behind a big pile of leaves. Oh. Oh, he's got the paintbrush, so I'm sure he painted our name. Say, thank you, Crunch. Thank you, Crunch. Thank you. Oh, it's too loud, too loud. Your voice startled him. Oh, our voices were just so enthusiastic. Maybe now would be a good time to be very quiet and very still and see if he climbs back down. not all the way out of the tree yet, but better, right? Better than before. Oh, oh he came out of the tree. Oh. Good job being so quiet and still. Sometimes it's important to let shy dinosaurs come to you at their own pace. You guys, we did great. He's feeling more comfortable. He even put his hat back on. Crunch is tired Ooh, from all the climbing and the painting and socializing. You could remind him he should go to sleep by saying, Good night, Crunch. Let's say that together. Ready? Good night, Crunch. He does look so sleepy. Okay. He must have thought you said, Good light, Crunch. <laughs> no, he brought us lights, lamps. Oh, he looks so pleased. Oh, we didn't say that, though. Okay. Say, Good night, Crunch one more time in a calm and soothing voice. Okay. Good night, Crunch. Did you try it? A nice, calm, soothing voice? Good night, Crunch. Maybe you can lie down when you say it to show him how nice sleep is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, he, oh, he yawned. Are you lying down? I'm getting more comfy. Oh, sleep is nice. Oh, you did it. He passed out immediately. We should probably let him sleep. If you wouldn't mind, please close this book very gently. We put
put French to sleep. Way to go, way to go. Are you guys getting sleepy yet? Maybe not? Okay, let's do Under the Darkness. We did this, I think, in just one night owl story time. Can you show me the darkness? The darkness is going to be above us, right? Here we go. And we say, under the darkness, there are stars, right? Under the stars, there is a tree. Under the tree, there is a blanket. Under the blanket, there is me. <laughs> Let's do it one more time, ready? Got your darkness, our dark sky? Under the darkness, there are stars. Under the stars, there is a tree. Under the tree, there is a Pull it up. Blanket. Under the blanket, there is me. Good job. Okay. All right, friends. I think we're going to bring back, I'm going to see if Renato, I shouldn't really wake a duck up, but, you know, he helped me earlier today, and I'll just tap him gently and see if it will wake him up for, for a goodbye song. Let's see. Ready? Okay. Um, maybe we could take your sleep mask off. Oh, okay. Just like that? Oh, it says Beauty Queen, his sleep mask. Okay. We're going to sing, um, he wanted to sing Skinamarink, a dink a dink. <laughs> okay. It might be hard. You know, I use two hands for that song, um, but one of my hands, um, helps hold you. Isn't that right? Okay. But we're going to try it. Oh, I'm sorry. He just woke up. Okay, have a sip. Uh, oh, excuse me. I mean, excuse you. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna try to do skinnamarink a dink a dink. Let's see. I haven't done this in a long time. Have you? Have you ever done it? Maybe once. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do. Now at home, you're going to put an arm out like this, and your elbow on top of your hand, and you could wave your hand like this or wiggle your finger we do it this way and then renato we do it the other way <laughs> like this <gasps> okay you said you were okay with that <clears throat> okay here we go we're gonna go skin a rink a dink a dink skin a rink a do i love you i love you in the morning and in the afternoon i love you in the evening underneath the moon oh skin a rink a dink a dink skin a rink a do i love you yo te amo oh that's spanish right for i love you okay can we do it one more time okay we'll do it one more time here we go i'll let you sing the first verse just like you like skin a rink a dink a dink skin a rink a do i love you I love you in the where? In the morning? I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marink, got ink, got ink, skin a marink, I love you. I love you. I love them. Me. No, me. I love them. Yo te amo. I could say that too. Yo te amo. Can we both love everybody? Okay. We all love you, and we wish you a good night, and I'll say good night in English, and what will Renato say? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. And how about sweet dreams? Can we wish everyone sweet dreams? Dulces sueños. Can you say that? Dulces sueños. I said it right? I did? Okay, guys. And I look forward to seeing you Wednesday. <laughs> And maybe you'll be back on Wednesday. I think we should tuck our friends in. Ready? Let's get the blanket. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me for night owls. Oh, night fowl. Fowl is another word for like all birds. Night fowl story time. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to tuck you in now. 
Okay, friends, have a great evening, and we'll see you Wednesday. Okay, snuggle up. Ready? Here we go. Mwah. Tucking you in. Good night, good night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Ah! Oh, there's no bed bugs. Okay, all right, sorry, sorry. All right, all right. good night. Sweet dreams. Dulce sueños.